Hello, good morning everyone. Uh, on this video I'm going to solve the problem that I saw this ago on Colorbyte, uh, which name is bracket combination. It is a very interesting problem of combinatorial uh, area of the mathematics. Uh, I'm going to start reading the description of that problem. Have the function brackets combinations read num, which will be an integer greater than or equal to zero and return the number of valid combinations that can be formed with num pairs of parentheses. For example, if the input is 3, then the possible combinations of 3 pairs of parentheses, namely uh, 3 uh, set of parentheses are this, this way, uh, this other way, this way, this way, and this other way too. There are 5 total combinations when the input is 3, so your program should return 5 examples. Uh, for example, if we have 3 in our input, we need to calculate 5 as a result uh, to input and we need to return 2 as output. Okay. Uh, reading the, the description of this problem, I resume that as an application of the Catalan numbers. Catalan numbers is a very interesting uh, series of numbers in the mathematics. Uh, and there are many applications of that series. The balance parenthesis problem is the very commonly uh, problem uh, and very, uh, very known on, on the mathematical society. And this is basically the application of, of that, uh, of that uh, series. As we can see, for example, if we have uh, an input of zero, by convection, we will have uh, one uh, result way in, in our formula, right? Uh, for one, we will return one. For two, for two pairs, we will return two ways. For three, five ways. For four, 14 ways. For five, 42 ways, and etc. This is the formula that we will to applicate, uh, we will to apply to solve the description of the problem. Uh, on this video, on this video, I'm going not to show you a description about the Catalan numbers. If you are interested uh, to know more about the Catalan numbers, you can search on Google on internet, and you will have a lot of information related with that uh, important series. Okay. Uh, by fact, uh, for that we need to apply. So this is the formula that we are going to plan in call to solve the, the description, to solve this problem, right? Uh, we can see here that this is the meaning of factorial, right? So the formula will be to an factorial uh, uh, divide uh, n plus one uh, n plus 1 factorial by multiply it by n factorial, right? So to perform that action, we need to program first of all uh, uh, a procedure to calculate the factorial of n number, right? Uh, on this uh, on this scenario, I'm going to use the rec uh, recursively function. Call it called uh, factorial. We'll receive an integer as argument, right? Uh, okay. Uh, factorial number, number. This is only an image of the original function mm, I'm going to use only int Number and index. Okay. 
if our current index is equal to 1 we need only to return the number as we prove it as argument of this for the function, right? If not, this is the application of the recursive uh, theorem of programming. This is the, the ability of a processor to invoke by itself on, 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 on itself, right? Uh, and for all, we need uh, to have uh, a scenario to stop the the call by itself, right? This is the condition, the validation to stop the, the calling by itself this function. Mm, number multiply it, multiply by index and or index. Okay, we will return a double. That's correct. Okay, number plus index and index integer number. Okay, I think that a good uh, approach of here is to use double. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Let's see, we need to test this function first. We want to know the factorial of 5, for example. We need to cast to int. And in fact, this will print the result on, the, on this command line. Uh, OK. OK. OK, let's see. Mm. 120, that's correct. For 4, 24, oh, that's correct. Okay, it looks pretty, pretty good. Uh, okay, now we need to apply uh, the formula that I explained to you minutes ago. This formula we need to apply in, or, uh, in order to solve uh, this problem in general and we, we will to take advantage of this formula and will be very easy if uh, like I say if you want to to know more about the Catalan numbers you can find it on the internet and you will have a lot of information okay for that uh, you know we need to apply the num multiply by 2 mm -hmm. And also mm, divide that result by factorial factorial multiply by num plus one mm -hmm. multiply by factorial factorial of or num. Let's see. As we can see, two multiply by n factorial. Two multiply by n. N is our input number. Okay, and we need to divide that result by factorial of num plus one. Okay multiply by factorial of our input number okay it looks good let's see what is the result for example for for two okay okay uh, this is a good uh, approach if we have a validation if we have a validation uh, here if we have for example the cases of zero and one in order to avoid this uh, class of operation, this kind of operation. If number is greater than one, we can apply the, <laughs> the operations. If not, we use only will return one. 
Okay. Let's see. Okay. For the this scenario of two, we are getting two. That's correct. That's good. Uh, okay. We need to try it with three. Okay, uh, we are getting five. Okay, our last uh, testing scenario will be with five, and we need we want to get 42 ways, right? Five, we want to get 42. Okay, looks awesome. That's awesome. Uh, in order to validate, uh, we need to run test cases. Now, let's see what is the result. Okay, that's pretty good. Looks awesome. And by fact, uh, this is the solution for that beautiful problem of bracket combination in color byte. Thank you so much for your time and see you later.